Hi, I'm Dory, and today I am recording another ACEO April challenge. This is a month-long challenge where I am posting a new artwork every single day for the month of April, and every single day I am creating a new ACEO, or as I've always heard them called, ATC's Artist Trading Cards. Uh, <laughs> this is a challenge that was created by my friend Claire from the channel Black Summer Coloring. I'll have a link to her down below just in case you want to take a look at her channel and see what she's doing with this challenge. If you want to participate in this challenge, it is not too late. You can start uh, working on this at any time during the month, um, and hopefully you can pick up on this again next month. I'm hoping we do this every year because I'm having a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, if you want to participate in this, all you have to do is create a piece of art every single day for the month of April starting now, and um, yeah, post it online with the hashtag uh, ACO April. Um, and again, I'll have all that information down below. Um, let me talk about the piece that I'm creating here. <laughs> As you can see, I am I'm drawing Buddha. <laughs> I actually love Buddha. I love, um, I collect these guys actually. I correct, collect um, Buddhist uh, little figures um, in various poses. I really, really am more drawn to the fat Buddha. <laughs> I, he, the real Buddha was more like the one I'm drawing here, the, the very thin Buddha, but I like the symbolic Buddha. I like the one that's big and fat. And um, because he's big and fat, he's been drawn that way to symbolize abundance and being whole and full and joyful and the fact that they chose um, obesity to symbolize that just makes me so happy I don't know why <laughs> um, but yeah I love Buddha just in any form that he takes I think he's a fascinating uh, figure um, his, both historically and um, religion wise I just think he's an incredibly cool person to uh, learn about um, yeah, me personally, I actually was very, very, very drawn to Buddhism, the symbols involved in Buddhism, and uh, yeah, the basic religion. I was very, very much drawn to that as a teenager. Um, <laughs> it's something I really, I would never, ever, ever call myself a Buddhist, like a hardcore Buddhist, um, but I, I did really get in, in, into learning the basics of the religion, um, understanding, I wanted to understand the symbols of it, and um, I don't know, I was just very drawn to the ideas of inner peace and zen and all these things, nirvana, all these things. I, I was very, very excited about these things, and um, <laughs> yeah, it's um, something I definitely enjoyed uh, when I was much, much younger. Um, and I am very grateful to have been given the freedom to explore uh, this knowledge and to really kind of uh, educate myself on these things and try things as far as religion goes. Uh, I had, I'm always kind of worried about talking about religion because I'm always scared um, that I'm going to offend somebody. Um, and that would never be my intention at all. I would never offend anyone. I, I personally, I am. I'm joyful that anyone has any kind of religion um, or lack thereof. Whatever it is that you have in your life that makes you feel like you understand what is going on, whatever it is that makes you feel like you know and it makes you feel safe and whatever it is that um, gives you that solace um, and uh, helps you feel like you understand and feel good about life, I, I am joyful that you have that. I am, you know, if you are atheist and you feel confident in, um, in the, the teachings of science, then I am so excited for you. That's amazing. If you are a Christian, then that is amazing. I'm so glad that you feel like you have someone that is uh, listening to you and that created you and has a plan for you. Um, if you are Buddhist, then I'm so excited for you. It really doesn't matter what it is because it's something that works for you and it's something that is going to give you joy and happiness and peace and it's going to make you feel like you have purpose and I am um, I totally 100% believe that um, that's just the way I have always thought the way I've always felt and the way I was raised um, my mom 
I've mentioned several times here on my on my channel here. Um, I've talked about it a few times that my mom is pagan. <laughs> uh, she never pushed pagan ideals on me. She actually ever ne never even talked about her personal beliefs with me when I was very young. Uh, it wasn't until I was much older that we even had a conversation about what her beliefs are strictly. Um, because uh, she's always taught me to understand that religion is a personal thing, that someone's faith um, and their beliefs and what guides them and speaks to their spirit is a personal thing. And it's something that every person has to kind of discover and find on their own. Uh, when I was growing up, she encouraged me to find my own path, and I'm so incredibly grateful to her for doing that. She, anytime that I had a question, um, and it was usually about, my questions were usually about Christian, Christianity, because <laughs> I live in the Bible Belt of the United States, um, where I live in the southern part of the U.S., uh, there is a uh, very, very dominant Christian uh, culture here. Uh, you have um, either a Methodist or a Baptist church on every corner, just about, and um, almost everyone you meet is pretty much guaranteed to be Christian. And, and because of that, uh, most of my friends were Christians. Um, my father is a Christian, um, and his request um he had us go to church several times he had us go to bible studies my exposure to religion was mostly christian um so mo a lot of my questions in my early life were about christianity um and anytime i asked my mom why is this why is this this doesn't make sense to me what is, you know what's going on with this my mom wouldn't you know bash anything or say anything prejudice or or bias in any way she would answer me with well how about you do some research here are some resources why don't you try to figure this out and um, she encouraged me to read and research. And um, because of my mother, I learned about uh, religions all over the world. Um, I was, because of her, I was exposed to um, what Buddhism is and all of these things. I learned about Islam. I learned about all kinds of different religions from all over the world that I would never have even heard of, uh, except for in maybe a villainized type of way. Um, I was able to learn about it in a neutral setting, uh, in an edu educational setting, and I was able to really get exposed to things um, without bias um, on a purely educational for, uh, platform. And um, I'm incredibly grateful to her because anytime something didn't make sense to me, um, I was able to figure it out myself. I was able to, encouraged to, find understanding within myself of why this doesn't make sense, how to um, make things connect in my mind and make things, um, you know, come become whole in my own mind. And because of that, um, I really do have a very much a great appreciation for religion. Oh, look at my, sorry, look at the gold. <laughs> I love the shiny gold in that. But yeah, so... I'll wrap this up. I don't want to <laughs> ramble any rent anymore. Like I said, religion is um, religion or the lack thereof is a beautiful thing. Whatever speaks to you and makes you feel good about yourself. So I hope you enjoyed this. Leave me a comment down below and uh, I'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye.